Hello and welcome to another video from Gun Gamers. I'm Eric. And I'm Lux. And today we're going to talk about a very spicy topic. Spicy. We're going to talk about why we love to play against each other. <laughs> So coming out will be a video from uh, Gun Gamers Productions Incursion. With that, there are some fantastic moments of watching uh, your favorite gun Contact, gamers story, players, uh, scream, uh, yell, and flip the bird at each other. Yes. And it's just delightful. Well, and, and that's the thing that I think is really cool about playing against your friends. Like just to start off on the highest point is playing against your friends is so much fun because you all know each other's boundaries. Yes. And as a result, you're gonna push the absolute yes. limit and you're gonna mess with your friends. And and even when you're like yelling at each other, it's all in like good fun, right? No yeah. one's gonna get hurt feelings. You're all gonna just have a drink and joke about it later. Like, it's fine. That was half of the end of Incursion before everyone passed out back at the Airbnb. It was just like, ha do you remember when? <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Well, and that's the thing is, you know, I think it gives people that level of comfort and safety where they know that everyone on the field is going to be okay with playing within the full spirit of the game. Yes. Nobody's going to feel like, oh, well, if I shoot this guy at this distance, they're going to be mad about it. If I go into a building and Matt is two feet from me and I am on the absolute edge of rifleman limits... Matt is getting shot. <laughs> I will yell a profanity to act out my death, but it's a real profanity. And I'll be like, oh, you got me. Yeah. But first, oh, or, fuck shit! And here's why. <laughs> because Matt would do the same thing to me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll shoot you right in the nipple, man. <laughs> fuck and, that. And, and that's why I, I think, number one, it allows really relaxed but fully aggressive play because you all know each other. You all know what you're getting into and you're all okay with it. Also a very interesting dynamic that uh, Jim and I have experienced in the past through um, airsoft, through video games even. Uh, Jim and I have been hanging out since like second grade. Mm -hmm. we, we got each other's number pretty well, right? We've done everything the same for years. We've been hanging out forever. So like... The amount of times Jim and I do the exact same thing and end up in the exact same spot, it is ridiculous and hilarious. To the degree that um, at Incursion, there was our third engagement where Jim and I head up at, at each other at this, like, just critical points, hit each other. And after the engagement, Jim just walks away and yelling, can I just fight someone else today? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> Constantly, I was like, he'll go there. He's like, I'm going there. Just, I, th I think my favorite example of us playing against each other is either... I mean, they're both night raids. Oh. It's either the ball car night raid at the 2022 ball car where I rolled Ian's PB along with a whole bunch of other people on the uh, NATO side, and Ian was cadre for Russ for that game. Mm -hmm. And we rolled his PB, and like we got a dead picture together. It was great. Uh, or it's the time that our assault technically failed on your PB, but it was an excellent raid. It absolutely <laughs> failed. You did not take the PB. No. Are you in, in any way you want? Was it a great gunfight? It was a great gunfight. <laughs> an excellent raid. But here's exactly what happened. So we have a game coming up where Eric's been real jazzed this year about the idea of nods are for losers because we reached a level where we have too much gear and now eric's like we're reverting back yeah nods are for lamos we're gonna use white light and so he has a whole concept of how we're gonna use white light to push i'll, I'll spare you all the details but we hear that we hear an engagement in the woods so we kind of have an idea that something's going on we lose contact with our platoon that had gone on their raid and we're like well shit so we're all kind of gearing up getting ready and we hear gunfire start. Starts off on this corner. It's over near where I am at, where Jim's at. We're trying to like ID targets. We start shooting. I get hit in the neck while I'm laying down, dead. I just, I'd seen all these white lights come up. And then two seconds later, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, this is Eric. I know. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, that stupid fucking yelling voice. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> So from dead, I'm texting him in the woods, just going, I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But but I think but I think oh, that so ties good. into I think it ties into another point of you know we were opposite sides of that game. You were the XO for NATO. I was the XO for Rust Four. Yep. Uh, so you know obviously we were both working technically uh, yes. and doing like all that stuff. But it was still so fun to get to be on the opposite sides of that of. Yes. Helping to both be moving our pieces into place and testing strategies against each other. Because what made that so much better is that afterward, I was able to talk to you guys. Yeah. And we're like, hey, here's how we hit you guys. How did you guys defend it? And what that does is it not only allows you to evaluate your tactics on the AAR side of, hey, here's what I saw and what I did and what I know of. It's also, oh, here's what they did, here's what they saw, here's what they know, yeah. and it allows you to really fine-tune strategies and understand how to play the game better. Very much so. Um, but, that, but that's the type of stuff you don't get when yeah. you don't know people on both sides. Yes, absolutely. And that's all good information. If you're interested in the tactical side of the game, that's valuable information. Also, I know it's higher level, but when you start doing, like, platoon lead and stuff so you start having a group of guys under you let's say anywhere from 15 to 40 guys mm -hmm. right it is so fascinating to send a group out have them do a task either an assault a raid a defense whatever and then have the other team be like i know it was this specific person based on how they acted like i was white cell for attrition yeah and i walked by mike welton he goes I know that was when Casey. <laughs> and I'm just laughing because it absolutely was. And I'm like, how did he know? Just because of exactly how he reacted to that contact. He's like, I know 30 dudes ran up and I know exactly who led all 30 of those guys. <laughs> and, and I think that yeah. ties into another reason that playing against each other is so special. You know, there's all the memories you make and all the yeah. moments you have. And obviously all the times we've worked together yes. are awesome. But then you sprinkle in those like little moments where you just get like, fuck, I know this dude just rolled my PB. Or like, oh, I know that this guy was hitting us. And, and it creates that different level of it just fun. It, it almost feels like a, like a role play in-game rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> well, so like, I don't know. Tell me, tell me in the comments or message us, whatever. Um, if you've been playing for a while, let's say five plus years, have you played where you guys have like you and your group have you like split 50 50 gone on different sides i'm just curious because like we absolutely have and that's the norm for us um but i just have i get i get giddy like it's my first year playing when i see someone i know on the other side <laughs> like the game's fine i'm having a good time and then i see like from like oh, 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 oh I'm coming for it. <laughs> Like, it's just so much more fun. Uh, it's, it's like the field shrinks. And all of a sudden, it's, uh, it's like a western. And it's just you and, you and your buddy just facing off. Here's a <laughs> so stupid example. It was from Incursion. We saw From was... So I was on Goji. He was the leader of Almiric. And we just felt that he was sitting in his ivory castle too long. He was standing up on this, like, building on a second floor, commanding his troops and knife handing around and we're like we need to take him down a <laughs> so we sent out one guy with a pkm and he just got because he was by himself he was able to sneak through his whole town and just did one burst and just popped him in the head it was brutal and at the end he's like i knew it was one of you guys. <laughs> he thought it was hilarious like any other player you just burst them and maybe hit their head they might be mad for almost like ha 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 <laughs> and, and that's and that's oh, the thing too is you know I think having that more friendly camaraderie in general yeah. is good for the game because at the end of the day yes Airsoft ends up playing as a PvP game but like all of you are players of the same game and the point at the end of the day is to have fun with everybody you're playing with and to me that includes my enemies like well that and uh, I mean, anger can be infectious. If you've been to any game, you've seen someone get angry and other people get angry around them. But, like, joy and hilarity is infectious too, right? Yeah. So, like, you see someone on the other team that you know, they're from, like, your group, 
you guys start like joking and like we're like laughing when you're going into it and like everyone else then gets more relaxed and it's chiller like i have a perfect example of something like this yeah. with people who we had not met before mm. do you remember caspian breakout I remember a lot of things about Caspian Breakout. Do you remember? Okay. Specifically. <laughs> Do you remember when we got hit by the grommets at Caspian Breakout? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they killed us so hard. It was so good. We had a good gunfight in there. It was really fun. It was a great we held him for a long time. Connor shot a guy right after he got done drinking his water bottle. The, the grommets <laughs> literally dug us out of that building with no less than a hundred dollars of pyro and <laughs> man they earned it and it hurt but like they come in and we're like everyone's kind of pissed because like blew us the fuck up yeah Corey like had some <laughs> glass that got no, no, blasted no, into no him. he had a pee from a pee grenade oh, lodged oh. in his arm he had to pop out like oh. blown up like they come in and immediately they're like Oh my god, wait, you guys got gamers like, hey. Well, because we had we'd gone to Buffalo Wild Wings with them before yep. the game. Yep. Never met these guys before in our lives. Like, we kind of, like, a few of us had kind of heard of each other, mm -hmm. and we were going to, like, Buffalo Wild Wings near the AO before the game. So then they just kind of showed up, met us, and we just <laughs> stayed up and had too many beers with those guys. But then we're in this game, and we have this crazy-ass gunfight, and like, yeah, people are like actually fucked up from pyro, and there's so much smoke in this room, and I hope I still have the picture of the guy who just took a selfie, and we all like busted out the Judy faces we had with us for it. <laughs> and it was, ah, oh, it was such a good fucking time. And, and again, it's that level of, yes, that was a hard gunfight, that was difficult that yeah. was painful even but then it just comes in and it's all these people you know and it's like oh you motherfuckers yeah. and, you, and you forget <laughs> about any inclination of being salty and then it's just fun i don't i don't which know which is so <laughs> weird if it's someone you know that just fucks on you and hurts you physically you're still like haha that was funny but if it's a stranger you're like i'm really mad about that same thing i don't get it <laughs> but, you know, it, but it's true. It's a weird psychological effect, but it's true. And I think it just stems from giving everybody that benefit of the doubt yes. of, hey, I just know they're here playing the game. Yeah. Like, I know that they're not here trying to hurt people or trying to cause problems. Like, they're just here playing the game, man. And when you really just relax in Airsoft enough to remember that everyone's just trying to play the game, it just makes it so much more here's, enjoyable. Here's a weird concept to consider. Um, everyone's people. They're just players also. Um, they're not some evil guys that are out to just cause you pain. <laughs> they're just players. Most people are not physically trying to harm you through the game. They're just trying to shoot your weak ass because you couldn't get in better cover. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think on that note, yeah. that's a good one to end on. Uh, so... You know, just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I want to thank Lutz for just always being a good friend. Right. And I want to thank Ben Spangler for the unsponsored sponsored segment. Uh, this is something that we're doing specifically for Ben Spangler because Spangler Forge makes awesome knives in Rochester, New York. And Ben Spangler plays with gun gamers at TF Keg Reps. So he's a good person and he makes really cool hand forged outdoors focused knives. He also makes some like tactical like belt knives. Uh, personally, I'm more of like a hiking like outdoors guy. So I bought at full price this belt knife. Uh, it's really nicely forged and I like the raw finish on the flats, but then it's got a very functional, super sharp convex Scandi type grind. There is a slightly tapered tang. It's got red micarta handles and it came with this really nice red kydex sheath. Uh, ben Spangler and Spangler Forge make incredible knives, swords, and all kinds of stuff. And if you want one, you can find one at Spangler Forge's Etsy site, which will be linked in the description below. But in the meantime, I've been Eric. I've been Lutz. And this has been another video from Gun Gamers. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. And if you want to learn more about Gun Gamers Productions, that's going to be down in the description below, gungamersproductions.com. And in the meantime, do all those things the algorithm likes. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell us how stupid we are in the comments section. That's the most important part.